Being able to play both left-handed and right-handed is, again, a key ingredient to getting your game to the next level, and it's something that's really helped me over the years to be a more dangerous player. Unfortunately, it's not a real easy skill to learn. One of the things you probably notice with your offhand is that when you're working on your strong hand, everything, all your technique is good. Your hands and elbows are up. You do the, everything the same way. You're really comfortable. And then once you go to your offhand, everything becomes really awkward. You're throwing a different way. A drill I used to do when I was growing up is I just call it the mirror drill. And what I did was I stopped and I really broke down exactly what I was doing with my strong hand. So I would look and I would see my hands were in a certain position. They were high and away from my body. I was stepping to my target. Everything was really good, really fluid, and really comfortable. Again, when I was working on my offhand, everything was very awkward. So I stopped and said, okay, I'm working on doing certain things with my right hand. Why can't I do them with my offhand? I looked and I broke it down and said, here's what I need to do. I tried to do all the same things with my offhand as I did with my strong hand. And just without even a ball, just worked on the technique over and over. And after a while, I would start picking up a ball, throwing off a wall, and my left hand technique got exactly like my right hand.